Yesterday, towards the end of the day, Ahmed Lukliash opened the festivities. A few hours after passing the Cape of Good Hope, he cut the Agri's Cape Longitude synonym of entering the Indian Ocean. At midday, after 24 days in the race, only five boats switched over from one ocean to the other and keep up their fantastic cavalcade into the roaring 40s. What a Here, the Indian Ocean in all its splendor. We're just behind the front. We jibed. I'm quite happy with the jibe's timing. It's not that strong, about 30 knots. Heavy sea. We're playing submarine. Catch you later. François Gabard is still a member of the leading trio, which could soon become a quartet if we take into account the miles caught up daily by Bernard Stam. I don't know the exact reason, but I think it's thanks to the wind I've moved ahead. In any case, I know that if the sea would let us do as we wish, we'd go faster, that's sure. For those leading the race, the game for the next days will be to make it to the second Igbis gate, on which Horizon propels itself a pretty anti-cyclonic bubble. Several hundreds of miles away, the group led by Mike Golding should enter the Indian Ocean overnight. And further away around the Tristan da Cunha archipelago, gaps have increased. The Indian Ocean isn't inaccessible, but some will still have to wait a few days before reaching it. Here, right behind me, inaccessible island. I'm almost there, but not quite yet. It wears well its name. This is the first time I see land since the Portugal coasts, so it's nice. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs>